Hi students, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. In this video, I am explaining the solution of exercise 4.1, chapter 4, principle of mathematical induction. Question number 18. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to plus n less than 1 by 8 into 2n plus 1 whole square. See, this particular problem is different from question number 1 to 17, where in the earlier problems we had the equal sign and by taking the LHS and comparing the, with the RHS, we used to check the statement. But here we can't do such things. There is a slight change in the method. So now, first let us check the given statement for n is equal to 1. So to check the given statement for n is equal to 1, that is p of 1, see here, from the left part, I will consider the value 1. Then less than, from the right part, 1 by 8 into 2n plus 1 whole square we have. So here, replace the value of n in the place of uh, n. So here we have 1 by 8 into 2 into 1 plus 1 whole square that is 1 by 8 into 3 square so 1 is less than 9 by 8 so this 9 by 8 will give you the value 1.1 1. 1 something so 1 is less than 1.1 1. 1 something so that means here we can say that now the given statement is true for n is equal to 1 so now as it is true for n is equal to 1 next step is checking uh, assuming the statement for n is equal to k so in the second step we take some pulse to integer k and we assume that the given statement is true for that pulse to integer k so in the place of n replace the value k so here we have a p of k statement as p of k 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to plus k that is less than 1 by 8 into 2k plus 1 whole square. Now let us say that this is statement 1. Next uh, in the third step now we have to prove that the given statement is also true for p of k plus 1. Here we have to use our assumption. So first let us write the given statement in the form of p of k plus 1 that is up to k plus 1 term. See here we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 up to plus k. Then after k add k plus 1 term plus k plus 1 less than here this is up to k plus 1 term that means wherever you have k that k you have to replace with the value k plus 1. So here we have 1 by 8 into 2 into k plus 1 plus 1 whole square. So this is our p of k plus 1 statement. See in the earlier problem we used to take the left hand side of the p of k plus 1 and then we were reaching to the right hand side of the p of k plus 1. By that way we are checking the statement. But as this is an inequality statement, it is not an equal statement, we can't do such things. We can't uh, take that left hand side and we can't equalize with the right hand side. As we don't have that equal symbol, here we have an inequality value. So that's why here directly we will consider the p of of k statement that is our assumption so now let us take the p of k statement here we have the p of k statement as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to plus k less than 1 by 8 into 2k plus 1 whole square see now this p of k statement just compare with the p of k plus 1 value which we need to prove this one we need reach to this particular value. So now see here in the p of k plus 1 on the left part we have k plus 1. So here we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 up to plus k. Here we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus k so plus k plus 1. First let us uh, try to match this value with this one. So to match this with this what I have to do is I will add k plus 1 to both the sides. As I am adding the term k plus 1 to both the sides that is uh, valid in the case of inequality because I am adding the same term to both the sides. So I will add that k plus 1 term to both the sides. Why am I adding this one? Because I want to match this value with this p of k plus 1 left side first time seeing. So if I add to this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 up to plus k plus k plus 1 this becomes less than 1 by 8 into 2k plus 1 whole square plus k plus 1. So now see here, this one is matching with the left part of this P of k plus 1. 
Now let us see the right part. See here we have in the in, uh, here we have one by eight into two k plus one whole square plus k plus one. So first I will simplify this one. So I will just consider this part now. I am taking only this part. So if I simplify this part, one by eight into two k plus one whole square plus k plus one, you can take here the common denominator as eight. So that we get here two k plus one whole square plus eight into k plus one. Then you can uh, simplify this one with the formula a plus b whole square, which is a square plus b square plus two ab. So this becomes two k whole square, which is four k square, one square that is one plus two into two k into one, which is four k. Then multiply this eight with this, so we have here eight k plus eight divided by eight. Then you can add four k square. 4k plus 8k, which is 12k, 1 plus 8, that is 9 divided by 8, and this is nothing but 2k plus 3 whole square. See, if I simplify this one, 2k plus 3 whole square, by using the formula a plus b whole square, I get here 2k square, which is 4k square, then 3 square, which is 9, then 2 into 2k into 3, that is, which is is equal to 12k. So this value matching with this, that means this one we can write in this form. That is a plus b whole square. So I am writing this with in this form: two k plus three whole square divided by eight. See now here we need this particular part of p of k plus one. So to get this particular part, we already have here two k plus three, but this is in the form two k. Plus one plus one. So what I do is this three I am splitting and writing in the form two plus one, which is nothing but three only. Then here from these two term now I can take two out so that I can reach to this particular value. So if I take two out here, then the remaining value is k plus one plus one whole square divided by eight. Which is nothing but one by eight into two into k plus one plus one whole square. See now, we have reached to right part of this p of k plus one. This is is equal to this one. So now just uh, put this value on that particular uh, assumption statement. So we have this one. So after simplifying this, uh, we got this value. So now let us put uh, this value in this place. So we have here see one uh, plus two plus three plus soon up to plus k. K plus one, which is uh, less than one by eight uh, into two into k plus one plus one whole square. This is nothing but our P of k plus one statement. So we reach to the solution. That means uh, now we can say that P of k plus one is true whenever um, the statement P of k is true. So hence, by principle of mathematical induction, the statement P of n is true for all the set of uh, natural numbers. See here, we have changed the method. In the previous cases, we used to take the left hand side of the p of k plus one, and then we we were uh, trying to prove we have we were trying to reach to the right hand side. But here, in this case, we have directly taken the assumed statement that is p of k statement, and by adding the term, we tried to match the value of p of k plus one. So these kind of changes you have to do when you have a inequality statement. These are the inequality statement. So that's why we can't uh, apply the previous method. So this is about question number eighteen. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel NCERT Maths Tutor to get more regular updates. Thanks for watching.